everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for another session of our Owl Chats. We're so excited to have you here. As February, we are stuck starting to look at our PST or Power Structural and Technical Pathways. So we're really excited that today, um, Nine and I are here to bring to you uh, Mr. Jason Scales from Lincoln Electric, and he's going to share with us some of the awesome opportunities and resources that they have, as well as a little bit of insight into the welding industry. So with that, I'd love to introduce Jason Scales. Well, hey, Megan and Nina, thanks for having us uh, and having me and inviting Link Electric to participate. You know, I, I can't think of a, a more exciting time for people to get involved in the welding industry. And if you think about manufacturing all over the board as well, um, we just came out of a really challenging time, right? And, and I'm sure we're all ready to forget that as fast as possible. But, you know, looking forward, uh, I often wonder if our 18 today, would I be doing the same thing I am today, knowing what I know? And, and I, I, don't, I don't think it'd be, the answer would be yes. I think the answer would be no. Uh, because when I look at the opportunities in welding, manufacturing, or uh, what we can do with our true skills, it, it's, it's amazing. And if you think about the welding industry, you know, we have a lot of resources in our portal for teachers, technical guides, we have posters, we have all this great stuff. But at the end of the day, it all points to somebody being in the welding industry to where I'm just going to be the welder. And, you know, the shameful part of it is we're not talking about all the other careers or the career pathways that we can take in welding or manufacturing that can just take us basically all over the world. Um, it's the, the opportunities are just amazing. And, and when I think about it, you know, we all start off in production welding at some point in the, in the welding industry, but if I take my pathway down to be an inspector, I take my pathway down to be a quality control person in a manufacturing facility, I take my pathway down to be a repair welder on an oil rig down on the Gulf Shores, um, or I, I take my path overseas and, and work for a, an international company. It, it's just, it's amazing the pathways that we can take, and, and I can tell you that you know, we here at Lincoln Electric, we have one of the longest running welding schools in the world. It's been, been in operation since 1917. And when I think about all the people that were trained by Lincoln Electric, and then I think about all of our other partners, the community colleges and um, other universities that teach welding, the, the industry has completely changed. And, and when I think even in the last 10 years, the last 15 years, the industry's changed. And, and for those of you that are watching this, you may think, well, heck, if I'm going to get into welding, all I got to do is just finish my high school program, or maybe I might go to that community college, or maybe I might go to that tech school. But, you know, there, there's another line here that, that people don't talk about much, and that's the welding engineering technology programs that, that are out there. There's five programs across the United States. Ferris State has one, Penn Tech has one, Laterno, Brigham Young, Weber. And, you know, we can't make enough of these welding engineering technologists. We don't have enough people that have true welding skills that can tie to engineering principles and go into a manufacturing facility and start solving problems. Introduce a brand new welding process on the floor and make it successful. I mean, we here at Lincoln Electric, we're coming up with new ways to put material together. We're coming up with new ways to build prototypes. We're coming up with new ways to use robotics in the manufacturing. All of that's gonna require completely different skills as we keep uh, innovating and, and moving this industry forward. It's, I, I wish I could take you on a tour of Lincoln Electric because we've got one of the coolest places in the world and it's our Additive Manufacturing uh, Solutions Center. And, and I kid you not, we are now 3D printing parts. And you're thinking, well, that's great. I've got a 3D printer. I can. I can print little parts too. Well, we're not printing small parts. In fact, if it fits in a microwave, we don't touch it. Uh, we print engine blocks for OEM companies. We print molds that we can shape materials for the aircraft industry. We print propellers for big ocean faring ships that go across the globe. Um, we bought a, main, we bought a, a, a milling and CNC operation uh, that their gantry system is, is, is bigger than my office to, to, to mill out and machine a part. We're dealing with specialty alloys. We're dealing with you know, distortion and how this material science is really gonna play into this. And, and so 
when I look at, and, and I think about you guys that are watching this in, in your shoes and you know, you're thinking about what you're going to do tomorrow, what you're going to do in 10 years. And I'm saying, just hold on, uh, because I, I think you guys are going to go on a pretty wild and amazing ride. And, and I tell you, if I, if I was your age, I, I, I seriously don't think I'd be sitting in this office. I, I might be sitting somewhere else doing something pretty cool, but not, not that I don't do stuff pretty cool. I do something pretty cool every day, but there, there's ways to have fun. And there's, there's things to do. So, you know, I encourage you guys to, 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 to really focus back in those studies and make sure you're you're taking those core classes seriously because I need you to do that. I need those skills, not just the skills with these things, but I need you to be able to use your mind. I need you to be able to communicate effectively. I need you to be able to use that math. You've got to use that science. We're using more science and welding today than we ever have before. And I talk about science all the time. Chemistry. I talk about chemistry all the time. It's amazing. Um, here, I got I got this. It's funny. This is a little 6010 electrode. And many of you guys might have welded with something called a 6011 electrode. But this is a 6010 uh, because it has bananas in it. I mean, really not bananas. It has potassium. And potassium is what really allows the electrodes to, to, to operate differently. And that's chemistry, right? So I, I tell you what, guys, I, I think there's just a lot of opportunity for you. I think there's a lot of things to do. And, and Megan, you know, if you, if you have any questions or other areas to kind of dive into, I'm excited to talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. I was, I was waiting for you. Um, I was so excited when you started talking about chemistry, because we often forget that there is so much science and things like PST, which is such a, a needed area in a lot of schools right now. And I think back to my former students and they didn't realize how much science was behind it. They just wanted to get out and they wanted to weld and they wanted to do, and they didn't realize all the time. So what would you tell teachers that they should be looking to do to really help enhance their students' education now to prepare them for the next step to be able to go into an industry like you see and is constantly changing? Right. Now, that's a good point. I'd say, number one, think outside the box and don't be afraid to fail. But when you fail, you got to figure it out, right? Because one of the things that I need, and, and it's growing more and more, is people that can troubleshoot, people that can think off the cuff, people that can say, you know what, I did that once before and it didn't go quite so well, but maybe if I did these things over here, it might've worked out a little better, right? I, I, Cause we always, when I taught, I, you guys, I taught school for 13 years. And we were so worried about doing everything perfect and everything right. So that experiment came out the best, right? Experiment worked and it did this. Well, some of my best learning experiences when it didn't work, mm -hmm. when the thing fell apart, when that didn't achieve the goals that I wanted to achieve. And then, but making sure we figure it out and let's explore the options or even more fun is plan an experiment that will fail and then go mm -hmm. through the whole steps with your students. Because they're all thinking it's going to work like smashingly gold. And you know what? It does it. And they're all like, ah, oh, what happened here? And oh, let's kind of figure this one out. Yeah, and, no, and that's you know, awesome. That's awesome advice. So I know you said that you guys have a lot of materials that you provide to educators. You know, as ag teachers, we, we teach so many different content areas. What kind of materials do you guys offer that would be great for helping teachers achieve that goal of preparing students? Yeah, I'm looking away because I was actually looking for a book, but I don't have it in my office. But what you guys got to remember is jfff.org. That's our foundation website. I, been, I know the executive director of it. He's a pretty cool guy. But you've got to go to jfff.org. And if you don't have an instructor kit, I'll send you an instructor pack. It's got all of our materials in it. It's got projects you can build and everything else. But the one thing you got to remember is I'm going to give you money. I'm going to give your students money and I'm going to give you money as an instructor. It's through our awards program. Your students build projects all the time. Well, why don't you enter the jflf.org contest? Your student can win up to $1,000. If your student wins $1,000, I'm going to send them a welder, but I'm also going to send you a welder as the instructor. Now, you think I'm kidding here. I sent one instructor because they don't have very many schools applying for this. I sent one instructor, 15 welders. Wow. He had 15 students that placed one. And I sent $3,500 in checks to that school. Now the school was in Arizona and those checks were written out to the students, not to the school. The checks are written out to the students. So you all make projects. You're all making projects in ag mechanics. 
all you got to do is write it up, send it into the foundation. I even have ag teachers on the judging panel to judge these things. And you can, it's free money and, and free prizes. But if you go to that jflf.org, there's resources on there. There's contest on there. Um, look up the lesson plan called Edible Electrodes. It's where you can show your chemistry and you use pretzel rods and, and different food things and you make up the flux and the pretzels, the core, and you dip it in chocolate, eat it up. Good stuff. We did it at FFA convention all the time. But now teachers, if you're willing to write up a lesson plan that teaches STEM using welding, you could win up to $1,000. And then I'm just going to make those lesson plans available for free. So remember, go to jflf.org, and, and that's what you need to, uh, to go to, to to find out more about that contest. That is, that's amazing. I had no idea as a teacher that that was even an option. So, and we know teachers are always struggling for funds for their classroom and materials. So that's wonderful that you guys support ag teachers in such an amazing way. And I know that those types of resources, especially with food, are always um, super Absolutely. exciting for students. Uh, right. Those are always the best days for them. So, um, Thank you so much, Jason, for joining us today. This was really awesome. And the stuff that you have, I wish I would have had when I was in the classroom teaching because my students would have just been so excited to have the opportunity to win funds, have the opportunity to learn some of the science that you've been talking about and just really, really prepare themselves for their next step. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, and thanks for everyone for joining us for this Al Chat. We'll be sure to share all the materials that um, Jason has talked about as well as that website so that you'll have direct access and Maybe you could be their next welding and uh, money winner that could help really enhance your students and their education. So thanks so much, Jason. All right. Thank you. You guys have a great day.